Hey guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So this will be a list of some of the films I think are the most disturbing to this date that I've seen. I want to be really clear that um, there's a lot of disturbing films in the world and I'm trying to stick true to the horror genre. This is where it kind of gets blurred line because the definition of horror itself is the feeling of fear, shock or disgust. And I definitely think all of these movies have that, but I don't think you necessarily have to have that to be in a horror film. I try to keep out the most common ones. So, you know, when you think about Irreversible, Old Boy, Salo and Clover Orange. So I tried to keep it more uncommon one so it'd be more interesting for you guys and maybe something you haven't seen. The last thing I want to say about this is I had no idea but when I put all my lists together I actually found that every single film that I had is from a different country which is really cool um, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's kind of like a little trip around the world though it's mainly Europe, Australia and the UK. Anyway so these are in no particular order and let's go. So the first film I want to talk about is The Skin I Live In and this is a Spanish horror film, I guess horror thriller drama and it's probably hands down the most disturbing film I've ever seen just psychologically. So this one's about a surgeon with a dark past who has created this miracle synthetic skin and he's patient is this mysterious woman who he's trading in the house. Don't watch any trailers, please don't read about this, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, don't read about this film, just watch it, trust me, it will change your life. Okay, the second one, this one is kind of obvious, it's Martyrs, which I always talk about, I'm obsessed with this film, everyone knows that, it's a French film, and um, it is quite popular in the horror scene. This is more of a well-known one that's on my list. This movie changes a lot, so it starts off as something and then turns into something else. And it's about a young woman who is on a quest for revenge. And that's all I kind of want to say about this one. I know I'm not going into too much detail, but this one has a long, forming, winding story and it starts somewhere and ends completely somewhere else. And if I was to say it was about anything in particular, I'd be completely lying because it's about a million different things. So definitely watch this one and I won't, I'll try not to talk about it anymore. So the next one is Bad Boy Bubby, which is an Australian film and it is super messed up. So this is about a man who has been held captive by his mother for 30 years without his knowledge. Um, he is told that things on the outside of the door are a lot different than they actually are. So he escapes and it's pretty much like him discovering, you know, the real life and he's naive and really creepy and it's pretty disturbing. So this movie is completely disgusting and it is gross and gruesome and yeah definitely up there. Australian film is always known to be pretty gory and we're a bit uh, you know like brutal and vulgar. Bad Boy Bobby tops them though, I, I definitely say that. If you've seen a horror movie that is Australian that is more brutal let me know. Um, I might do a, a video actually on Australian horror film because there is a lot of good ones and people don't know them. They think that Australia puts out really bad movies and especially horror movies but we don't. We have really good horror movies and I'd love to talk about them so I'm gonna definitely have to do that. Okay on to the next is Dogtooth which is a Greek film and it is a lot like Bad Boy Bobby in the respects it's about um, a family that is sheltered and is told completely different things about the outside world. But this one takes it to a new step, so it's like you say black, I say white, you say day, I say night, is that a rhyme or something? I don't know. But it's pretty much like that, like you would call the wall, you know, a shark or something like that. It's all crazy and it's it's a little bit sexual as well, which is kind of creepy. Obviously it's creepy. It was selected for Cannes Film Festival and it was one of the only Greek films selected in a decade. But it's a really interesting different movie and it definitely takes it a step further to that whole being captive and nature versus nurture and all that kind of stuff. It's definitely something to think about. Okay, last one today I want to talk about is Eden Lake and this is also a more of a well-known horror film. So this is a UK film and it's about a young couple who go out on like a weekend away romantic trip. They are tortured and hunted down by this group of youths and it gets really brutal really fast. Think I Spit on Your Grave but super more like intense. I know I Spit on Your Grave is one of the most intense horror films but especially obviously the original. But this one had me like squirming and... I couldn't get it out of my head for weeks. I thought this was really good. Definitely worth a watch if you're looking for something really brutal and really disturbing. So let me know what you guys think are the most disturbing films you've ever seen. Uh, let me know your top five. Let me know below. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and stay spooky, disturbing, creepy, horrific. Bye. Clown is after children and only children. So when I went to the bathroom that night, he wouldn't be like standing in the corner waiting to eat me. Please. <laughs>
so creepy.